guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I've done a Primark haul. To be honest with you, I just haven't really been to Primark recently. I've been to get little bits and bobs, fill up on my socks, fill up on my cotton pads. So last weekend I thought, come on Hannah, pull yourself together, head to Primark, let's do a haul. I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. I think the total of this haul was about £87, but I have got a lot for my money. I've got a lot to show you, I've got a lot to say, so let's get on with the Primark haul. You know it's a hefty haul when they put your stuff in two bags. Lord knows one bag ain't gonna hold all this stuff. So for my first item, I'm gonna start with a bit of a controversial one. I know for one that my boyfriend is gonna hate these, and I feel like these are gonna be a Marmite item. I got this pair of faux fur black sliders with a leopard print bow on. Usually I wouldn't even look twice at something like this, but at the minute I've just got a thing for leopard print. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's come over me. I've never liked leopard print before. Suddenly I'm into it and these were six pounds. And then just a little quick but vital addition to this haul, I picked up another pair of flip flops. I got some plain black ones, they're 90p. I wear these so much. I've already got through a pair this summer. Don't be spending your money on expensive flip flops when Primark are creating these bad boys. The next item that I picked up, I'm just picking these out of the bag as I go, is in fact a little bag. So I haven't got any mustard yellow bags, any yellow bags at all for that matter. I've never been very daring with the colour yellow. I think because I'm blonde and a lot of the time, unless I've fake tanned, I'm very pale. So I tend to steer clear of yellow. However, I thought, why Han? Let your inhibitions free. So you might notice that in this haul, I have been a bit brave with the yellow. So this is my first yellow item. This was eight pounds. It's got a long strap. It hasn't got any other pockets inside though. It is just like a big bucket but I really like the colour of this I like the simple design okay we have our first item of clothing so the first thing that I've picked up is this stripy jumpsuit it's kind of like clots on the bottom you'll be able to see it in the try on section but it's got these four buttons down the front I'm not gonna lie that's the thing I'm not sure about I just don't love it however I do love this square neckline it's got a really nice little thing to tie at the front so I feel like this could be very flattering and it's got a zip down the back so you can get it on really easily I I think this could look quite smart or you could just put a denim jacket over it and it would be fine for the summer and this was 15 pounds so i feel like that's a really good deal for 15 pounds it does feel quite nice quality the next item i've picked up is the one that i'm possibly the most excited about how cool are these i saw these on the mannequin and absolutely loved them so they are these yellow culottes again that they're not like long trousers obviously they've got these buttons down the front and they're elasticated at the back i was going through all the rails i could not find my size anywhere I was looking for a size 10. The hanger isn't right because all the hangers were wrong on these trousers. I feel like they're quite a popular item at the minute. There were quite a few people looking at them. They were all on the wrong hanger, so they must have been tried on, etc, etc. But there were no size 10s. Then I had a look at the one on the mannequin. It was a size 10. I was with my mum and she was literally about to start taking them off the mannequin. Like, it was so embarrassing. And then someone had dumped this pair of size 10s at the front of the rail. Honestly, it was like God opened up to me. He saved me in that moment from the embarrassment of my mother trying trying to get this pair of trousers off a mannequin. So these were 13 pounds. I have tried these on already because I was so excited about them and I do absolutely love them. I think they're really flattering. I would wear these with an all black outfit, a little black vest top, my black vans, a little black bag. I think it would look super cute. I'm trying to be more adventurous with my yellow and I feel like these couldn't be more of a bold yellow statement. The next item I've picked up is not very summery, but I did really like it, so I got it anyway. It's this red sweatshirt. It's kind of long looking at it now. I wish it's a bit more cropped maybe I'll cut it myself maybe I'll be adventurous but I liked this neckline I thought that was really unusual it's like elasticated the sleeves are cuffed and the bottom of it is like a raw hem it's really soft and fleecy on the inside so it's defo too warm for the summer but who knows maybe in the evenings this will be perfect I've gone for a size extra small in this I'm not usually an extra small I'm usually about an 8 to 10 but don't you think that just looks huge for a size extra small? But anyway, this was seven pounds and I really like it. Sticking with the sporty theme for now, I also picked up another pair of yellow trousers. However, this is not the first time I've seen these. Every time I've gone into Primark recently, I've looked at these trousers, I've decided against it. I was like, no, I'm not sure if I'll be brave enough. But this time I was feeling brave. I thought, you know what? I'm on my yellow height. I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone. So I've got these little bad boys. They are like, they're kind of like joggers, but they're wide leg. So I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that when they're on. But they've obviously got the black and white stripe down the side. They're high-waisted. I got these in a size 8. And these were £13. Then at the checkout, 
Always got to stock up on your cotton pads from Primark. 90p, can't go wrong. I also decided to pick up this tanning mitt. This is the Coco Brown Deluxe Velvet Double Sided Tanning Mitt. Five pounds is more than I've ever paid for a tanning mitt. However, the majority of my tanning mitts are past their sell by date. And I've heard some quite good things about Coco Brown, so I thought I'd try it out. I'll let you know what I think. It feels quite sturdy. It feels like a good one. And then I also just quickly picked up some more exfoliating gloves for one pound. Okay, I'm now gonna move on to t-shirts. So the first thing I noticed when I went into Primark was there are a lot of ribbed t-shirts with like the lettuce hem. That seems to be all the rage at the minute. You know you're getting old when you use phrases such as all the rage. But I've already got a couple from Primark and I really like them. I've worn them a lot this summer already. So I picked up this little white one. It just says love on it. I kind of wish they didn't say things on them but I also do think that's quite a nice touch. I got this in a size 8 and these are £4. I really like the lettuce hem. I'm all here for that trend. I think it's cute but it's not too cutesy and then I also picked up the plain black one just because I think I'll wear it a lot this one was three pounds clearly the embroidery is not an expensive process because it only costs an extra pound I also picked up a little blue one I've not seen this before but I really like it I'm not sure how I would describe this blue pastel blue this one has got a little white lettuce hem how cute is that I like the little white flowers on it as well a little bit granny-ish but also a little bit cute I'm here for it and this one was five pounds this embroidery process a little bit more expensive because there's a few of them. So those were all the ribbed lettuce hem tops that I picked up. Then I've got, not sure how I feel about this now that it's home. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it will look nicer on. So this is like a little orange crop top. I like the colour of it. I think with a black denim skirt this would look cute. But obviously it's got quite a lot of frill going on and I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet. I might really like it on. I think it's going to be one of those tops. You can't really decide an opinion until it's on. Oh and this was on sale. Maybe that's why I picked it up. <laughs> so this was £5 but I got this for two. Pounds. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and there were a lot of these left as well. Clearly these ain't that popular, but I've got one. Next up, I'm kind of feeling a little bit similar about this top, I'm not going to lie to you. We have another little blue top. This is an off-the-shoulder crop top. I liked that it was elasticated. I like the length of the sleeves. I think they'll look very cute on. Oh, it's really dirty. Oh man, I should have got a discount on this. I mean, it was only £4, so it's not exactly breaking the bank. But it's obviously been on the floor because it is covered in dirt love that and then the final t-shirt that I picked up was one which I thought was so cute it is this little baby pink t-shirt which says Sunday obviously I'm sure you can read I bought this a few sizes too big so I bought this in a size 12 because I want to wear it oversized maybe put a little knot in it wear it some cute denim shorts a little matching denim jacket I think that would be adorable or I've got a red denim skirt that I think this would look really cute with if I can find a red denim jacket maybe I'll invest in that and that would be such a cute little outfit together but yeah I liked it it's just a comfortable t-shirt isn't it like it's quite cool it feels quite lightweight and again this was four pounds and then ladies and gentlemen my final item for this haul is a pair of tassel earrings so again these ones are yellow these were three pounds I just thought they were cute with an all-black outfit they'd look nice or with my yellow trousers if I'm feeling brave you know you've got your life together when your accessories match but yeah I love Primark's tassel earrings they're so cheap even if you only wear them once it doesn't matter oh my gosh I nearly forgot my final item this is a good one. It's in a separate little bag. Picked up a little mug, didn't I? This is possibly the most tackiest, cheapest looking mug I've ever seen in my life, but I love it. it says Future Islander. Am I gonna go on Love Island? No, I'm not. Do I want a mug that says Future Islander? Yes, I do. But anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of this summer Primark haul. I absolutely love the bits that I've picked up. I feel like I've branched out of my comfort zone quite a lot in this video. My version of branching out of my comfort zone is buying yellow clothing. <laughs> wow, my life is so adventurous. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below have you been to Primark recently? Have you picked up anything cute? Tell me about it. I want to hear. Do subscribe if you haven't already and you can see my future videos. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a lovely summer and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!